Здравствуйте! Сегодня наша очередная субботняя встреча. Сегодня у нас очень интересный гость. Гость из далекой Японии, господин Хаджими Сузуки, эксперт японского агентства международного сотрудничества, автор метода практически кайдзен и основатель одноименного института практически кайдзен в Японии. Наша передача – это портрет личности, поэтому я бы хотела вас попросить, расскажите, пожалуйста, о своем детстве, где вы учились, что на вас повлияло, почему именно вы уделяете такое большое внимание именно этому направлению, как повышению производительности, как вы, как вы к этому шли постепенно, что на вас оказало наибольшее влияние? First, I was born in 1938. So I had four brothers. I'm the eldest, and I have four younger brothers. So I had to take care of all these young brothers, assisting my mother for farming, because mother is taking all the farm. Okay. When I was in secondary school, I was like a part-time farmer. So uh, when uh, I was in the third grade of the secondary school, mm -hmm. so I tried to, uh, anyway, study more mm -hmm. and ask the, uh, our parents uh, to go to some faraway high mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. where is I think the higher class. With hard studies I was actually uh, passed as a number one mm -hmm. to that high school. So I had to ride a bicycle mm -hmm. uh, around 40 minutes, mm -hmm. eight kilometers to the station, mm -hmm. then take uh, locomotives mm -hmm. and then change trains Mm -hmm. And anyway, take 40 minutes mm -hmm. to the station near my high school. Mm -hmm. So it took one, one and a half hour. So it was rather hard, especially in the winter time. Mm -hmm. No strong wind mm -hmm. or sometimes muddy after melted the mm -hmm. wall. Snow. Mm -hmm. Usually the first go had to take a home. Mm -hmm. But my parents said that we have four boys. Mm -hmm. So anybody who can walk outside. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go outside. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to the university. Usually top group of the high school boys challenged to Tokyo University, number one university in Japan. Mm -hmm. But I was not in, not good in English. Mm -hmm. I was rather good in science. Mm -hmm. So I went to Tokyo Institute of Technology. So uh, this institute had a small uh, number of the students one uh, year on 300 some, very small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are from all over the Japan, very high level. Mm -hmm. So I was rather low level. Mm -hmm. So I did not take the most popular uh, subject like mm -hmm. electricity or machinery, mm -hmm. but took management, mm -hmm. which was rather a minor class mm -hmm. at that time. So later, this management engineering become rather popular mm -hmm. uh, with together with the development of Japan. Uh, anyway, 1961, I graduated and I joined uh, some companies which pay higher. Then the steel industry is the well, highest class at that time. Uh, there are five big steel companies in Japan, so I joined to number two, the Fuji Iron Steel. So number one, number two merged mm -hmm. and become later Nippon Steel. So I was assigned to the North uh, Steel Plant mm -hmm. Hokka in Hokkaido. Mm -hmm. So uh, and anyway, I was assigned to the Industrial Engineering Department, which, mm -hmm. which is actually uh, uh, making any studies to improve productivity. So uh, I expected to stay maybe more than 10 years because the engineers stay long. Mm -hmm. at one place. Mm -hmm. But somehow I was seconded to headquarters mm -hmm. uh, after two and a half years. That is early 1960s is 
the start of high growth of Japanese industries, and the steel industry is the number one industry, which Japan, Japanese government is put emphasis to develop mm -hmm. for other industries. Because the steel is the actually base industry for uh, constructing roads, buildings, bridge, mm -hmm. shipbuilding, everything. So we are trying to uh, well, develop, redevelop the steel industry after completely destroyed in, by the war, mm -hmm. learning from the United States or Russia or Germany, from any countries. So at that time, the, <coughs> the steel industry, they are trying to uh, develop new steelworks, mm -hmm. which is actually the very big ones, mm -hmm. and need a lot of people mm -hmm. to use new technologies. Mm -hmm. So headquarters needs some young staff mm -hmm. to mm, uh, plan this kind of uh, so-called rationalization. So uh, the industrial engineering department in headquarters consists only of less than five persons. Mm -hmm. So, but senior manager, he is a very aggressive person. The start of its rationalization first uh, with the American's assistant, uh, Japan Productive Center, they organized study mission to the United States consisting of real top management of the whole big leading companies. Mm -hmm. So after that, when I was well, seconded to headquarters, now the senior manager group sent to the United States mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, study all the way of working there in the United States. So our senior manager, they got the many materials, and this bunch of materials, okay, Mr. Suzuki, translate this like this. So that's the, my <laughs> first task I had to <laughs> improve my English. So anyway, the five big companies, all senior manager went to the United States and uh, visited the, the steelworks over there, and received the same material, listen the same story, mm -hmm. and they came back, then applied at each company. But application at each company, first year, almost the same. Mm -hmm. After second year, each company is not the same. Mm -hmm. Some company just for which, what they well, uh, saw or in, written in the material. So our company, Fuji Iron Steel, is a it's rather different from other companies because uh, the top management, uh, Mr. Nagano, mm -hmm. is actually like a samurai. Mm -hmm. He is always <laughs> challenging. Mm -hmm. also, uh, after? Yeah, after, yes. After. Actually, so and my the senior, my boss, senior yeah. manager, mm -hmm. is also a real samurai, and he wrote the book later, uh, Samurai or Businessman. So, what we, the Japanese company did is, anyway, the senior manager when uh, came back, they thought that in our companies, the workers, they are, well, the steel, uh, the work is very big, mm -hmm. four kilometers. Mm -hmm. So the main gate is here. Mm -hmm. After, uh, well, punch the time card, and mm -hmm. they walk to their mm -hmm. workplace, then this may be sometimes four kilometers. So one hour mm -hmm. will take to mm -hmm. reach their working place. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then change clothes and go to the well, uh, operation station. Mm -hmm. After finish, they uh, cross change, uh, or they anyway, not shower, bus, mm -hmm. take bus and change mm -hmm. clothes. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes mm -hmm. and walk down to this mm -hmm. uh, entrance. entrance, one hour. Mm -hmm. So two and a half hours mm -hmm. paid without mm -hmm. uh, working. Mm -hmm. Whereas Americans, even lunchtime, they bite sandwich mm -hmm. in left hand and operate by right hand. Mm -hmm. This is why how an American works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to change this system. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we cannot be competitive. So working hours, eight hours. but Two and a half hour mm -hmm. is actually wasting. Mm -hmm. So uh, the oh, management side, anyway, the, my boss 
start to see how to change this. Mm -hmm. At that time, the labor union was very strong until a few years before, influenced by communist group. Mm -hmm. Everything against the management. Mm -hmm. But anyway, luckily, two, around two years before that, already resolved this union problem. So the union, the leader, is rather cooperative mm -hmm. with the management to mm -hmm. make growth of the company. Mm -hmm. So the company changed. That means uh, workers go to the working place, mm -hmm. change growth. After that, they mm -hmm. uh, find mm -hmm. the let go. Mm -hmm. Then after finish work, they anyway fast mm -hmm. record time then change cross and bar mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so for workers it's a very big change right for two and a half hour overtime it's become zero mm -hmm. so it's really neat the labor management and labor unions corporations mm -hmm. so management side asked labor union to persuade the people mm -hmm. uh, in order to increase wage right, we need to pay, the company can pay only for working hours, like American does. Mm -hmm. But we are trying to well, increase your wages. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and company side negotiated the labor union, and it gives some lump sum money. Mm -hmm. And the labor union passes the, their uh, union members mm -hmm. to well, accept this and work together to improve productivity. So, uh, this is the management side. There are many methods or many ways of working changed. Mm -hmm. So, like revolutionary changes we did for many ways of working. And also, uh, technology side, Japan introduced new technologies like uh, steel making, usually use some flat furnace, which took uh, six hours to complete the refining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And new technology was already developed in the Germany, mm -hmm. but not introduced in the United States or other mm -hmm. uh, countries. Mm -hmm. uh, this new type, the Bessel method, is actually take less than one hour mm -hmm. to uh, refine the mm -hmm. same quantity of steel. But Americans, uh, they could not because they have already these furnaces mm -hmm. and they in working for many, so many workers mm -hmm. there. If mm -hmm. it introduce new technologies, the number of workers will be reduced into mm -hmm. a very small number. Mm -hmm. So you knew against. Mm -hmm. So they know the new well, technology mm -hmm. is really high, uh, well, uh, productive, but mm -hmm. they could not introduce. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, we already solved the union problems, mm -hmm. running productivity concept from Europe. Mm -hmm but not running from the union relationship from the United States, only method we run. Mm -hmm. So we combine. Mm -hmm. So we could introduce a new technology mm -hmm. rather easily. А могли бы вот рассказать такую вещь? Я когда-то изучал такую дисциплину, как реинжиниринг бизнес-процессов, и в качестве примера нам приводили передачу технологий после военной годы от США к Японии. Я хотел вас попросить, могли бы рассказать, что, что передавались не только технологии в производстве, то есть не только технологии в металлургии, но и технологии управления активами, технологии управления персоналом, угу. технологии управления в целом. Угу. Могли бы вот отдельно угу. рассказать? Everything. Все, все имело место. 60-70 we challenge to make renovation for any well, field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, это то, что называется total quality management. That is only one mm -hmm. among это... many. А вот сотрудничество с американской стороной в какой форме происходило? Это была передача технологий или это была продажа технологий? Что это было? Actually, technology we purchased. Mm -hmm. New technology, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So we learned, mm -hmm. and not inviting the expert. Mm -hmm. it, inviting expert is much more years ago. Mm -hmm. Later, you mean? No, no, ah, later. Na in 1960s. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. 
1860s, when we just opened our country,、mm-hmm. that time we invited a、uh, foreigner、mm-hmm. as an expert,、mm-hmm. but they actually failed to make success.、Mm-hmm. So, Japanese、uh, succeeded、mm-hmm. to challenge and、mm-hmm. anyway developed our own way.、Mm-hmm. So, in the 1960s,、mm-hmm. we purchased the technology.、Mm-hmm. Also, we invited some Or specialists,、mm-hmm. but anyway, we run by ourselves and we build by ourselves、mm-hmm. in technology side.、Mm-hmm. Management side also, we went there and learn what they are doing,、mm-hmm. and we introduced, modified,、mm-hmm. and we established our own way.、Mm-hmm. So, combination of investment facility, technologies, and also big changes without much in,、well, uh, investment.、Mm-hmm. But big change of re- regulation, etc.,、mm-hmm. for a working system、mm-hmm. and make very big changes. То есть, прямого копирования технологии не было, технологии управления, а был свой продукт. Давайте вернемся к немецкой технологии 45 минут в сравнении с 6 часами дальше. Invented, but it's not really practical yet because of many reasons. So, Anyway, we started with nothing because、mm-hmm. everything is destroyed.、Mm-hmm. And top is very、uh, challenging、mm-hmm. in any industry, any company, because we have to develop、mm-hmm. to survive,、mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. foresee the future. So、uh, they bravely invested、mm-hmm. or bravely changed the system、mm-hmm. of working. So, anyway, I just worked as a one young staff、mm-hmm. at headquarters.、Mm-hmm. But anyway, I observed how. They t a l k and middle management are thinking on how they took actions.、Mm-hmm. So I have a very、uh, clear picture s what's、mm-hmm. going on、mm-hmm. in、uh, Fuji and Steel、mm-hmm. and other companies. Around five years,、uh, well, the big、uh, rationalization program is almost finished. So, and、uh, with my colleague working together at the same age, he's not the engineer, but anyway, he、uh, went to the United States、mm-hmm. for study.、Mm-hmm. Usually,、uh, only an engineer has a right or uh, mm, uh, recommended to study abroad, but、mm-hmm. he anyway took the、uh, scholarship、mm-hmm. and went.、Mm-hmm. Then, I thought that I must go also.、Mm-hmm. So I chased him.、Mm-hmm. I followed him. So I started to study English conversation very hard.、Mm-hmm. Every day, three hours after work,、mm-hmm. there is a school, American conversation school、mm-hmm. in Japan. I wrote many love letters to American universities.、Mm-hmm. Then finally,、uh, I got a scholarship from one university, the,、mm-hmm. uni- the University of Michigan. So, the, the University of Michigan is the university which started this kind of study because、mm-hmm. this is located nearby Detroit where、mm-hmm. the automotive industry developed. So, I went to the United States at the age of 31. Usually,、uh, they go at the age of 28 or 9. So,、mm-hmm. I、uh, was two years later than other p- persons.、Mm-hmm. I had a hard time because I, my English wasn't so good. But anyway, I could get master's degrees in two years' study. It was in 1969 to 71. So it's here. Master of Science in Industrial and Operation Engineering. Magister Nauk. During this period, the Fuji and Steel merged with the number one, that Yawata Steel, to be、uh, Nippon Steel.、Mm-hmm. Yawata is rather a、uh, mm, uh, big company, very established, rather bureaucratic. So、mm-hmm. uh, they do as they saw or they、uh, learn、mm-hmm. and not bravely modify. So、uh, I heard that there are very big differences in productivities. So the Fuji Iron Steel could produce the same quantity of steel with. 10,000 employees less.、Mm. So 30% higher in productivity. Here, I learned that 
it is not just a knowledge. Mm -hmm. How to utilize the knowledge which is received in practice mm -hmm. is very important. What I learned mm -hmm. through these activities of Fuji mm -hmm. and still that is my maybe ten percent of my experience. Ten percent of uh, my this... career until now. Ah, mm -hmm. Anyway, I came back to another uh, still works uh -huh. in uh, nearby Kobe area. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that, I was uh, promoted to uh, the senior manager in uh, old steel works mm -hmm. nearby uh, the Tohoku area. Mm -hmm. yeah, because the rivers, mountains, mm -hmm. then are separated and also it is governed by each district uh, well, the, like a separate country. All uh, uh, televisions, mostly well, uh, announced by uh, standard Japanese, so mm -hmm. everybody can understand, mm -hmm. any local persons. So, they, this may be 60 years. So until the end of the war, mm -hmm. there's no television, right? mm -hmm. maybe only mm -hmm. radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, local people speak only local language. Mm -hmm. So it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. To communicate. Mm -hmm. Можно задать вопрос, mm -hmm. пока вот мы говорим mm -hmm. сейчас об этом о японском. А что такое, по вашему, японский стиль? Mm -hmm. Что такое ну, истинное японское? Mm -hmm. Japanese like culture, mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to explain. <laughs> but anyway, Japanese are people who actually like to run from outside. So far east island. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we welcome the foreigners to come and we run. And also, many years ago, uh, many are sent to China mm -hmm. to study mm -hmm. Chinese cultures. Mm -hmm. And later, the Koreans comes mm -hmm. to actually to make the pottery. Mm -hmm. So we learned a lot from mm -hmm. Asian countries mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Then later from Western countries, so from parts. from actually many regions. Mm -hmm. Some comes from uh, maybe uh, now Russian island, mm -hmm. Russian uh, mm -hmm. continent. Mm -hmm. Some maybe China and Korea. Some maybe from southern island. So in one way, maybe uh, we have like learning culture. Mm -hmm. First, in, in migrated, mm -hmm. and then we need to live in some uh, territories. So mm -hmm. we need to run from the nature of that area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some very snowy, mm -hmm. some maybe uh, windy, some mountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all the reasons is there are very big varieties. Mm -hmm. So you have to run from the nature mm -hmm. to live. So uh, <laughs> all days we learned the letters, mm -hmm. Uh, and also technologies from China, mm -hmm. and we modified and we mm -hmm. developed our own letters mm -hmm. to write. So after open, uh, Japan opened in uh, 1860s, mm -hmm. three Japanese found that the Westerns are very strong. Uh, they are actually uh, dominating many areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the technology is the first priority that Japanese should run. That was a policy mm -hmm. at that time. Mostly uh, emphasizing the uh, military development. Mi military, mi that means mi ship, mi yeah, mi warship. Ah, Miami. military. No. Yeah, military. Mm -hmm. yeah, to compete uh, Great Britain, United States, and Germany. Mm -hmm. That is one of the mm, sad story. But anyway, uh, 1940s, mm -hmm. uh, at that time, the fighter, the top level of fighter is Japanese, mm -hmm. zero fighter. Mm -hmm. Within 60, 70 years, mm -hmm. we could reach the top level of mm -hmm. producing fighter by mm -hmm. ourselves. Uh, you mean aircraft? Aircraft. Uh, this developed by like a craftsmanship. And we have uh, limited resources, mm -hmm. and we do not have the mass production system. Mm -hmm. Only small numbers, but mm -hmm. very high levels. Mm -hmm. So in early days, we had a fighting with Russia, mm -hmm. and we destroyed Russia. Mm -hmm. That was something uh, unbelievable story. Mm -hmm. This is a sad story, but in technology, we had 
very high level, but uh, no mass production. That means uh, management, in terms of management level, mm -hmm. uh, still not developed yet. The Americans are very good in developing uh, its mass production system, mm -hmm. starting from ag agriculture facilities and their yeah, railroad system, and then uh, automotive industries. Mm -hmm. They established mass production system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also could apply this for the military airplane. After we are destroyed, the Americans uh, anyway uh, thought it is necessary to help Japan develop mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. uh, and they sent uh, expert like Duran uh, for quality control. Mm -hmm. So we learned a systematic way of improvement industry mm -hmm. engineering or quality control. Mm -hmm. The uh, <coughs> technology like seal making, we bought, mm -hmm. but the, this management technologies, mm -hmm. actually the American provided us to help Japan to develop, redevelop again. Mm -hmm. After we, uh, well, the expert, the American expert told us and our top level of management, they ran mm -hmm. and start up that and found that it's something not very effective. Uh, we modified and applied, mm -hmm. and that is helped to all have this quick mm -hmm. development. Come to the year of 1970, uh, mm -hmm. so I was anyway uh, nominated as a senior manager in Southeast mm -hmm. area. Sorry, not 70, not 75, after working in mm -hmm. Kansai area mm -hmm. plant shifted to mm -hmm. the North area, mm -hmm. 75. At that time, Japanese technology, steel making technologies rather well, uh, coming to higher level. Mm -hmm. So we had many technical cooperation to many uh, developing countries like mm -hmm. uh, Brazil mm -hmm. and other some countries. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, well, changing from learning stage to well, teaching stage mm -hmm. and uh, well, the, the company management uh, thought that this uh, technical cooperation will be one of the big business. Mm -hmm. So they challenged uh, to expand. So in uh, 1978, around that time, Venezuela was a very rich country. Mm -hmm. And the Venezuelan uh, money, Bolivar, is the, uh, well, uh, close or uh, constant relation with the United US dollars. America. So one of the richest country. And they decided to develop the steel uh, plant mm -hmm. to be four times bigger new factory. Mm -hmm. They are using oil money, mm -hmm. utilizing the, uh, the resources for steel making. That means they have a mountain of iron ore mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they have uh, natural gas. Mm -hmm to process mm -hmm. some steel uh, uh, iron ore. So uh, they uh, decide to invest and they uh, purchased technologies with equipment from Germany, United States, or Mexico, whole set of four mm -hmm. times bigger mm -hmm. world, I think, newest mm -hmm. steel plant. But they don't have how to operate the whole plant. Mm -hmm. And they found that uh, Nippon Steel it's actually the number one in the world to mm -hmm. operate this integrated steel plant. A Venezuelan National Steel Company and Nippon Steel signed to uh, have uh, the whole over operational technology cooperation. So it was a, like a huge project. So the uh, Nippon Steel side sent 50 experts mm -hmm. and with families, 200 Japanese are sent to small town. Everything was different. Mm -hmm. Culture is different. Mm -hmm. Climate different. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, we had a very hard time mm -hmm. within uh, five years mm -hmm. until last year and last timing. Mm -hmm. All these four and a half some years mm -hmm. struggling, struggling, struggling mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. many, many problems. Mm -hmm. So it is separated to three batches, two years, two years, and one year. So I was one of the first batch members. And anyway, there's a no, uh, well, 
tangible success until the uh, end of the second batch. Mm -hmm. We have only less than one year to anyway show some result because we Nishimoto should charge a lot of money, mm -hmm. so we need to show anyway the result. So the lead of third batch uh, called from the Venezuela to Japan. Mm -hmm. So we need some person uh, who had experience, mm -hmm. and we I need Mr. Suzuki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, two members are actually from the technology side and the management side. Two members who were in the first batch mm -hmm. was asked to join the third batch. Mm -hmm. I was in charge of uh, production management, production planning and control. Director of the Venezuelan company has young, mm -hmm. 30 some, and have only few experience. And they hired they are one engineer from Chile mm -hmm. and uh, this director and the manager. So first, we are asked you can do this assistant in English, mm -hmm. but they cannot speak English, only Spanish. Mm -hmm. So only uh, some person, only some few person can speak English, but they are very busy. So mm -hmm. maybe only one hour in a week we mm -hmm. can communicate in English. The, our team decided to uh, recruit the uh, interpreter mm -hmm. from many countries. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Venezuela has been very direct. So it's very, even the, the uh, interpreter who studied in Spain, he had a difficulty to communicate. So anyway, I, we had to run in uh, Spanish. Spanish. And for production management, it's, uh, well, uh, produce as make plan and produce as the plan. Mm -hmm. But the, each factory stops very often because Materials not reach to that factory. Mm -hmm. If material comes, machine is broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> material uh, comes, machine is okay, then worker is not here. Uh, so anyway, the Venezuela at that time, the population is uh, uh, 15 million mm -hmm. right now here. Mm -hmm. Big country, but very small numbers. And mm -hmm. the industry developed like this. Mm -hmm. So they have a shortage of people. So under these conditions, I first need to think about how to make the uh, reasonable level of plan because they just want to make mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. but actually can produce only this mm -hmm. and many more well, materials parts are prepared this mm -hmm. so it's a big loss mm -hmm. so how to set this reasonable level what's mm -hmm. my first challenge mm -hmm. and also control of the uh, semi finished materials mm -hmm. produced in one factory mm -hmm. <coughs> and kept here mm -hmm. for next mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. but here they do not. They, this ha, they have they put this the steel the coil mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the ground. Mm -hmm. No roof, no overhead crane. Mm -hmm. Just they have forklift. Mm -hmm. So very big ground, and uh, uh, this factory mm -hmm. is well had some breakdown. Mm -hmm. cannot uh, mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. and this is in good condition they mm -hmm. produce produce so they put everything mm -hmm. full of this big yard mm -hmm. then uh, next when the uh, foreign process started mm -hmm. they say that I need this but cannot take because there's no way to approach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all this big coil is 10 mm -hmm. tons mm -hmm. so I recommend to the, uh, the director of the Russian planning. So anyway, under these conditions, nothing can do. Mm -hmm. So I think the uh, ma uh, manager of the plant maybe knows that, okay, this is not produced enough. So all this not necessary to produce. Okay, you have a big space over there. So all this shift over there. After a few days, when I visited the place, nothing. They removed <laughs> all to Everything. other area. <laughs> I thought that anyway, take this chance and take our uh, make this arrangement. Okay, this is a passageway, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so myself and the uh, uh, supervisor mm -hmm. of the yard who can operate mm -hmm. the forklift, mm -hmm. and also uh, the one industry engineer from Peru, mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. 
-hmm. work to rearrange this mm -hmm. big yard. So in the meeting with the, well, the management mm -hmm. or yeah. head of the steel plant, uh, anyway, we, our team is trying to make fast working standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, in this meeting, the head of their plant said that, Ah, we need this kind of assistance, like that. so <laughs> not making standard, uh -huh. but to do something at workplace. Actually, this is uh, almost three years experience. Uh -huh. How to uh, well, cooperate? Uh -huh. Because I have only myself. Uh -huh. uh, the Japan is far away. Uh -huh. uh, communication is very difficult at that time. Uh -huh. So I have to think what should be. Mm -hmm. And I took actions. Mm -hmm. So it worked. Uh, well, finishing <coughs> five years. Mm -hmm. Finally, we were told that thank you very much from the Venezuelan side. Then, this is my first experience abroad, but still not started JICA. So when I came back, uh, Singapore, in Singapore, there are already productive development projects are starting. But this Singapore project, Actually, the JICA's uh, assistance, basically uh, to build a uh, bridge, to build mm -hmm. some um, testing uh, institution like that. Mm -hmm. So it's physically visible. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they, under the uh, Minister of Japan at the time, changed the way that not helping to make something, mm -hmm. but uh, to develop human resources, okay. change the policy. Mm -hmm. So this is started under JICA, but the former uh, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore mm -hmm. directly asked to the chairman of uh, Japan Productive Centre, mm -hmm. we would like to have productive development in mm -hmm. Singapore. So we formed uh, the Japan side after intensive studies from the project team uh, consists of around uh, 10 experts mm -hmm. oh. and started. And from the first, what the Singapore side expected and what the Japan side is trying to do, it's all mismatching, mismatching. Around the uh, well, middle of first year, it's something very serious, and around the uh, well, ending period, it's almost bankruptcy like that. Around that time, I was in headquarters in Japan still, mm -hmm. and somehow uh, this Singapore project, uh, uh, the project getting very serious situations and need some expert who can do uh, technical, technical cooperation like industrial engineering field. So I was seconded as an expert uh, for the Singapore project at the last day of first year. And next day, the leader of our project went back to Japan for the reason of health and Which never is. came or return to the Singapore because it could not continue. So without leader, we are struggling. So for, uh, our team comes from uh, the Japan Productive Center mm -hmm. and from other company, from other institutions, it's just a mixture mm -hmm. of the members. So uh, before we are uh, forming the team, uh, with very strong attack from Singapore side, this team is almost broken. So one group is uh, the group of from the productivity center who are specializing in productivity and starting from like a, well, uh, giving the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Other group is has experience in other countries. So based on their uh, experience. So these two group, they are separated. When I come here, this group, they want to me to take this one. <laughs> Other group is this side. <laughs> so after six months, Japan side trying to find well next leader mm -hmm. who can handle this. Mm -hmm. Finally, he uh, persuaded a person who almost retired, uh, Mr. Sakurai. Mm -hmm. Actually, he had been working 17 years in Singapore mm -hmm. uh, to start the uh, shipbuilder. Mm -hmm. uh, as a joint venture of Singapore government. So he knows everything about mm -hmm. Singapore. Mm -hmm. Singapore side asked us, so you, JICA team, should restructure yourself mm -hmm. 
to change your method to suit for our situation. Mm -hmm. So uh, with Mr. Sakurai, we well, discussed how to uh, restructure and we refound what is the Japanese uh, excellent characteristics mm -hmm. of Japanese uh, excellent companies. And we found that, which is different from uh, mm -hmm. what is written by American uh, professors. Mm -hmm. This is the well, secret of Japanese, etc. It's a commonly understand knowledge. It actually is not really practiced in Japan. So, uh, our team, uh, mainly those who had uh, experience outside. Mm -hmm. One is Sato-san, actually had the experience 13 years in Papua New Guinea. And the other person is, uh, well, graduated from London, uh, London uh, mm -hmm. University in London and uh, working in African countries. Mm -hmm. And myself, I had five years experience in Venezuela mm -hmm. with uh, the new leader, Sakurai-san, having 17 years in skills in Singapore. So we worked hard. Uh, to challenge to the very strict uh, or demanding mm -hmm. <laughs> requests from Singapore side. So there are many stories or dramas, but mm -hmm. anyway, for my side, uh, anyway, industrial engineer in this field, uh, Singaporean, they study of uh, the material of American mm -hmm. textile. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just look at that, mm -hmm. not studying. So they are, the knowledge is much higher than what I have. And they asked, the industrial engineer, quality control, Japan, learn from the United States, right? Using same tools for productivity. Mm -hmm. Why Americans like this at that mm -hmm. time? Mm -hmm. And why Japanese like this? Mm -hmm. Then I found that this is a way how to use this tool. So the practical use of tool is very important. Mm -hmm. Then they asked, because at that time, the TQC was very uh, well, uh, famous as one of the uh, secret of Japanese mm -hmm. development. And Toyota production system is actually introduced to the United States and had a success. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. are very much interested to introduce Toyota production system. Mm -hmm. And in other words, this is called JIT. And also the TPM, Toyota productivity maintenance also start to be no, well known. When Japanese expert on TQC comes, he always talk that TQ is the secret of Japanese industry. Mm -hmm. And when the expert of Toyota Project comes, then speak that, okay, this is a real uh, way of product improvement in Japan. When the TPM expert comes, he speaks that TPM is really basic for everything. <laughs> then Singapore asks me, how we can implement this? Somebody is a TPM is the best. Mm -hmm. Somebody is TQM the best. What the relationship with this? Mm -hmm. Then I found that there's no materials or mm -hmm. no person who can speak about all this in how the relationship related. So I tried to integrate this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. and mm -hmm. named yeah. integrate productivity development. At that time, the uh, Mr. Ima wrote a book of Kaizen, and uh, when uh, he published the book, I read that. And I, I got a chance to meet him when he came to Singapore. I found his book is a good story because cases, uh, but I found this, uh, well, the person who read this will have difficulty to start implementation or applications. So after his seminar, I invited him to a seafood restaurant and well, discussed, uh, okay, your book is very good, nice book to understand Japanese way of practice, but we need some guideline how to implement it. So mm -hmm. I am a practitioner because I had already 20 years experience in implementing this kind of productivity improvement or Kaizen. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Mr. Ima kindly accepted my proposal. Then uh, I know, I, well, I was thinking to write some books and the title is a practical Kaizen. So I combined this integrated productivity development uh, with practical kaizen. So, when we write the book, I try to well, create some character. Mm -hmm. Then I found or well, created the character of Doctor Practice. So uh, that book is now translated into Russian and used for Nalufo University's basic uh, 
Kaizen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For uh, mini business course. Uh -huh. So, doctor practice is actually not myself. Mm -hmm. The very well experienced person who are the not knowledge, just uh, the wisdom. Mm -hmm. There are many people I learn. Mm -hmm. They are behind me mm -hmm. and tell me you should think in this way, you should approach this way. Mm -hmm. okay. So you, that is the uh, mm -hmm. doctor practice. So, uh, mm, I worked for Singapore from nine. Uh, 84 mm -hmm. to 90. After that, I was uh, working for many <coughs> Asian countries, Asian countries mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for under uh, Asian Productivity Organization, APO. Mm -hmm. So this practical kaizen based on Singapore experiences and some experiences in uh, those Asian countries or experience when I trained this participant in Japan. So, in end, uh, again, uh, Thailand asked to have productive work project mm -hmm. and started in 1994 mm -hmm. to end, I stayed until 2000. In our traditional Kazakh community, Muslim community, ну, то есть мы все берегли, mm -hmm. то есть у нас даже энергоэффективные дома были, юрты, mm -hmm. то есть мы не топили там пачками дров, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. гармонии yeah. с природой всегда нет. И даже в южных частях региона Казахстана на протяжении великого шелкового пути mm -hmm. у нас были даже раздельные туалеты, по, то есть по большому, по малому, mm -hmm. то есть все это не смешивалось как сейчас, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. потому что мы жили с гармонией с природой, заработал закон термодинамики, mm -hmm. мы знали, как это все использовать. Все uh -huh. правильно делал. Uh -huh. То есть это было частью ислама. Uh -huh. вот. И мы имели свой собственный кайдзен, такой традиционный казахский, с элементами именно религии. Он был больше духовный, и кайдзен казахский, uh -huh. он сидел прямо в сердце. Вот. И я хотел бы сказать такой пример взаимоотношения Казахстана и Японии. Буквально больше, больше 100 лет тому назад, это был 1905 год, русско-японская война. Uh -huh. Вот. Япония, несмотря на трехкратное, это, то есть в России было три раза больше населения, шестикратное военное превосходство, и она проигрывает Японии, которая буквально вчера еще была отсталой аграрной страной. Uh -huh. И вот эта ситуация вдохновила казахскую интеллигенцию. Uh -huh. да. И наши лидеры партии Аллах Шарда, Турай Гыров и Алихан Букиханов, особенно Алихан Букиханов, он вел активную переписку с правительством императора Мейзи. И он написал большой труд, и опубликовал его в газете «Казах». Называлась «Возрожди обновленная Япония». Эта статья вышла в 1910 году. Букиханов чем знаменит? Он был сокурсником Ульянова Ленина по юридическому факультету. В 1939 году он был расстрелян коммунистами за то, что он являлся японским шпионом. Uh, Он вел uh -huh. просто переписку с правительством Японии uh -huh. и изучал японский опыт. И вот была опубликована эта статья в Фейсбуке, uh -huh. и пошли оппоненты. Uh -huh. Пишут, что Япония в период Мэйдзи имела самые низкосортные товары на уровне китайских товаров сейчас. Uh -huh. Но мне кажется, это была неправда. Uh -huh. Вот, может быть, Сузуки сам нам скажет, что он договорил, что лучшие самолеты они выпускали, uh -huh. лучшие uh -huh. это. Может быть, mm -hmm. Япония уже была тогда лидером, mm -hmm. раз она заявила о себе на мировой рынке. Mm -hmm. Just 30 years later. <laughs> 30 years later? Yeah. 1940. Ah. 19 days, not, not uh -huh. so high. Просто удивляет тот факт, как когда в 1905 году, уже имея, буквально вчера не имея ничего, и появились крейсеры, mm -hmm. страна заявила о себе, mm -hmm. это, как о лидере mm -hmm. в Тихоокеанском регионе. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, actually, Time. Japan to be Mm -hmm. Equivalent level to big three countries, British, mm -hmm. American, Germany. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that war mm -hmm. the, with Russia, actually the combination of strategy, mm -hmm. uh, tactics, mm -hmm. and engineering. Uh, before strategy, they have the policy mm -hmm. that to be this level. Mm -hmm. the strategy is how to get money mm -hmm from, for example, England, etc. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, a foreign relationship, mm -hmm. diplomatic relationship, and get money mm -hmm. and build ship or boat ship 
That is preparation stage. Это стадия подготовки. When we met the wow, the boss, the the group of sheep in some area. Well, then it is the tactics. That means how to form the team against the Russian water ship battleships. And here there is some kind of management thinking because information. It's really need to check whether it's true or not, and then by this informations know that that their ship is the Russian ships are where like that. Then they can think about. So this is like a information analysis was in the base, and when we really met, then. Uh, the engineering, that means how to shoot exactly mm -hmm. this tech work, well, like a skill, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is really necessary. Then, based on this in, uh, engineering, Japan had a spirit. Mm -hmm. So when they start war, they, all the soldiers, they changed to well, uh, brand new uniform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this, with fresh mind. Actually, this is that's only one time of completely integrate from the policy, strategy, mm -hmm. tactics, engineering, and spirit. As he mentioned, uh, Kata people have some uh, well, culture mm -hmm. to work, uh, live harmony with the nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is same as Japanese. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kaizen is a common sense, mm -hmm. actually practicing common sense, uh, anyway, to make it better. Это вот э, менталитет, да, вот то, что mm -hmm. вот врожденное, да, уже mm -hmm. это не надо говорить. Или же были какие-то, э, какой-то вот стимулирующий mm -hmm. инструмент, да, скажем, да, вот именно общегосударственный, да, вот mm -hmm. особенно во время становления Японии. Mm -hmm. Было ли это какое-то вот такое вот, скажем mm -hmm. так, да, привнесенное э, со стороны государства? Кайзен. Кайзен. Writing small letter is kaizen, mm -hmm. pronounced kaizen, mm -hmm. this is common sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What Mr. Imai Kai wrote is kaizen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is actually not existing in Japanese work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the quality, how to make good quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So more technically, we uh, have the terminology of kufu. Mm -hmm. Kufu is actually more techn technically, but how to make it better and better and better. Mm -hmm. So that there are to develop the, like a craftsmanship. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that is actually could produce that zero fight directors. Mm -hmm. We have this culture. And that is very common in any other world. Mm -hmm. But only Vietnam has similar culture to Japan. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do it then. Why not we can do it? Mm -hmm. We'll try to do it. Mm -hmm. That's Vietnam. Vietnam. Вот это вот вы предвосхитили мой вопрос. Вы очень много работали на территории азиатских стран. Скажите, пожалуйста, что у нас есть общего? У Казахстана с теми странами? Да, да. С разными странами и какой у каждой страны есть своя отличительная особенность? Сингапур, Таиланд и Вьетнам. Then Казахстан is one of the longest country. So each country has different culture, but Казахстан is not well surprising country. It's rather standard level. Stable. Yes, but. More maybe knowledge based, influenced mm -hmm. by maybe Europe or recently from America. And the uh, difference is uh, in a big country and small nations, and they mm -hmm. have uh, natural resources. So, mm -hmm. you are the rich country. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, early days had some uh, hungry cultures, but mm -hmm. when it came second time in nine, 2009, mm -hmm. I found that cut of people is losing hungry. Spirit. Whereas Vietnam, they still have hungry spirit. So, and the Kazakh people has high education, so more rely on knowledge. But it's very important to back to the native, well, original culture that work with harmony with the nature. Think how to make it better. And for uh, industrial production, industrial system needs some uh, technical method of management. Mm -hmm. So I'm emphasizing this 
technical or way of management mm -hmm. and uh, practical. So yes. Mr. Ima in his book like individual kaizen, mm -hmm. group kaizen and management kaizen. Mm -hmm. And what is uh, well, this individual group kaizen everybody can uh, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. But management kaizen mm -hmm. involves many people and need to discuss mm -hmm. the whole process of the operation. Mm -hmm. So it's not really easy. So this management kaizen actually what I have been experienced from the start of my career in Fuji Aina Steel. And I learn from anybody who has good practice, even Singapore, and I have very good uh, cases in Vietnam uh, uh, also. Mm -hmm. So doctor practice is anybody who has practice and uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. So after uh, I published my book. In other countries, the doctor practice actually uh, are taking rest <laughs> until recently. He's always behind me and telling me, but I found that in 1914s when uh, Kiwi had a big conference mm -hmm. and I was invited first Japanese to mm -hmm. speak only maybe 50 minutes because so many speakers there. Mm -hmm. In 19. And so, uh, 2014. 2014. <laughs> so I decided to introduce doctor practice mm -hmm. to uh, give impression that KJC assisted more than 10 years mm -hmm. in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I stepped up the stage and said, doctor practice is here. No, that, but he's, but he's maybe very old now, mm -hmm. but his is up to this. Mm -hmm. Mine is up here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because why I promote in practice Kaizen is Mr. Imai's Kaizen is their limitation. Uh -huh. cannot take uh, management. Uh, mm -hmm. Я хочу вернуться uh, к вашей личности, потому что вы рассказали очень много о своей практике, uh -huh. очень много дали хороших ценных советов, я думаю, для нас, для всех. Расскажите, пожалуйста, как эффективно использовать человеческий потенциал, как его улучшать, как вы на своем личном примере это поняли и использовали в своей жизни, насколько это эффективно, что вы делаете для того, чтобы выглядеть так хорошо, быть таким энергичным, ездить по разным странам, учить других людей. So anyway, uh, Proctor Kaizen is registered by me. So in my instance, mine is including Oh, my specialty besides business, mm -hmm. actually I'm a master of Aikido. So, uh, a university, in university I well, well, started to practice karate mm -hmm. in some dojo. Uh, so after I well, worked in Hokkaido, I couldn't find so, uh, well, dojo. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I transferred to headquarters in Tokyo, mm -hmm. I tried to start something which can continue mm -hmm. even getting older, mm -hmm. over 80 right there. So I started practicing Aikido. Uh, but when I well, uh, transferred to some other place, there, there had no dojo, so I had a maybe 10 years break. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I restarted. So until now, anyway, continuing. So besides this, I try to uh, learn anything which is good. So I practiced Nishino breathing method mm -hmm. uh, and other many schools. Mm -hmm. And I actually practicing the relaxing method, mm -hmm. which can well, do it any time on the bed, anything. Mm -hmm. So try to release my stress mm -hmm. with relaxing. And in daily life, even life and business, I always keep open mind. That any food mm -hmm. the local people can eat, mm -hmm. I try. And positive mind. Any difficulty, I think, oh, maybe mm -hmm. I can manage it. Mm -hmm. I can do it. We can do it. I never think I'm getting old. I still feel I'm 50. Right? Really? <laughs> 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 <laughs>